We're Ben, Emily and Alan. This is our narrowboat home and this is Rambler, our tiny narrowboat that we bought only a few months back. We're slowly renovating it as we travel along. Join us as we explore the UK via its canals and rivers in not only one narrowboat but two. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. This week we put holes in the roof of our boat, install a solar setup and see the effects of the recent flooding. Good morning. We are leaving Orowas today. We want to get to Fradley Junction, which isn't too far, but Benny's not very well. Ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> So as soon as we set off, three boats appeared behind us. So we're all queuing at that lock. And obviously we've got two boats, so we're coming through the lock and I think we're gonna let them pass us so that we're not pressured by having to move quicker. So I've moored up, I'm gonna go check on Emily, but fella's helping her do it, so all's good. And he's lost his chain in the water. It's quite bad that that's just come undone, isn't it? Yeah, so I know where it dropped and it drops quite straight down. I think we're actually just gonna stop here. I know we've not gone far at all, but you're not feeling good, are you? No. And I think that if we do five locks today, it's just gonna make you feel worse. This jacket's one of those jackets where- uh, Everything just- When you lean, it just thumps out as well. <laughs> have you, you've not got the other camera in there, have you? Do you want to use our the other boat hook? Because it's got a more of like a, a the hook's right on the end, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. That's probably going to work better. Yeah. <laughs> Do away with that. If you've got it, I'm going to be pretty impressed. <gasps> you've got it! Oh my. Right on the flipping end. <laughs> That's amazing. <Yes. laughs> well done. Hook a duck. Hook a duck guy win. Anyway, we're going to stay here just till Benny feels better. Right, we're just gonna get on with some jobs. We've got lots of work to do today. So today is a little bit weathery. It's been raining on and off and some nice sunshine as well. But I really wanna get these solar panels on. The sooner that I can get them plugged in, I'll be giving some power to my leisure batteries, which means I can have lights on and I can work when it's dark because the days are getting shorter. But before I start, Tom and Danny, two of our subscribers just stopped past and gave us some kindling. Thank you so much guys, that's so kind of you. I'm gonna go check I've got the right bolts and then make a start. And then I just need to find the Sikaflex, which is a, s a flexible sealant that I'm gonna use to keep it all waterproof. Well, it's started to rain and I can't find the Sikaflex. I did buy it a while ago and the boat looks like this. So maybe I just need to have a big clean up instead. So I found the Sikaflex. It stops raining. Uh, I've got my drill bit, so I'm going to mark it up anyway and see if I can dash in and out in between the showers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On my way. <laughs> Right, let's do it before it rains. Okay, so I've got rid of the stray flecks of metal that were sticking out of the bottom and I've created space for the bolts to go on. I've also put a little dab of paint on each hole so it's not bare metal. Now I'm going to move on to the sicker flex and actually putting the bolts and the braces in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you are um, funny, Benny. <laughs> Can you screw these bolts in, please, from the top side? Okay. Nice, thanks. All right, now the uh, yeah, the other one that's closest to you.
Hey, thank you. How exciting! Is it the right size? Is it the right size? Is it the right? Yes, look at that! Yay! <laughs> We've nearly got power. Look how diddy they are! And they're quite a lot of power, aren't they? So what are they? 120 watts each? Yeah, yeah. Which is a lot for such a tiny thing, isn't it? Yeah. Is that it then, done, Benny? Yeah. Are you happy? Ooh, look at that angle. Yeah. I've come inside to record because it's getting windy out there. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's a nifty, tidy job I've done there, I think. So I've put them up high so I can get to the wiring underneath. I'm going to drill a couple more holes into the boat so I can feed through the cables. Great. I am far from a massive fan of drilling holes in boats, but it's got to be done. And there's the box to go over it. Progress. Okay, so that is the cables through. I need to move, put the breakers on, get them attached to this and get them to the battery. But time is moving forwards, so I think I'll leave it for today. Well, that was a nice dinner. Yep. Wasn't it? Thank you for cooking again. Um, My pleasure. How are you feeling about your solar? Oh, it just feels good to have it up there, doesn't it? Yeah. I think like everything, I'm just being quite eager and excited, and it's no good having it sat in the boat. I've got to get it on, haven't I? Yeah. It was actually good. a bit easier than I thought, but yeah, I've just got to be patient with it, contain my excitement. I'm pretty tired. I imagine you're pretty tired. Oh, it'll be nice to chill a bit now, I suppose. Not that I ever want to stop, but we've got to be sensible about these things, haven't we? Yeah, should we go chill and read? Yeah, nice read. That's got a pretty good. good book. Not only have you got a good book, you've got an amazing bed that I built. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, I've been enjoying that. It's yeah. been nice. It's nice and cosy, isn't it? Yeah. But what makes it really good is our amazing mattress. <laughs> <laughs> and talking of amazing mattresses, this week's sponsor is Emma Sleep. So we've had our Emma mattress for almost six months now, and I'd say it's some of the best sleep we've ever had, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. It's super comfy. It's like supportive, firm, but soft, squishy. Yes, it's such a comfortable mattress. It's lovely. And what I've noticed is, as it's started to get cooler, I've noticed how warm this mattress is, but it's just like a really nice balanced warmth. It's not like too stuffy or anything. Yeah, because you can get a bit warm, can't you? Yeah. So and I can get too cold and it's been yeah. it's been so nice and cosy. It's like really, yeah, it's good. But that's one of the features of these mattresses is the temperature regulation. So really yeah. noticing that now. Yeah, it's great to wake up just well rested, ready for another busy day in these busy times that we've been having. Yeah, it's very important to get a good night's rest when you, well, anyway, just to, you know, for your well-being, but also when you're super busy, it's, yeah, it's good to feel, feel refreshed, isn't it, in the yeah. mornings. You've got another busy day tomorrow, haven't you? Believe it or not, I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what Tomor are you doing? Tomorrow I'm going to stick the ceiling up. I've got a few packs of tongue and groove. Yeah, it's time to crack on with that. No time like the present. Yeah, nice to get that done. It will look a bit more finished in there, won't it? Yeah. Good. So Emma Sleep have a 10 year guarantee and a 200 night risk free trial. We absolutely love our mattress. We recommend them. We love their pillows. We're actually going to be getting a mattress topper as well, aren't yeah. we, for our dinette um, bed because the mattress on our dinette is just really simple sort of foam. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting the uh, yeah. the mattress topper for that. I think we'll be able to use it in the van as well, won't we? Yeah. We'll be able to take yeah, it. We yeah, will. so that'll be nice. Yeah, definitely um check their website out. They've actually got a massive sale on at the moment, their biggest sale. Um you can get up to 65% off and another 5% off if you use our code Ben and Emily BF, which stands for Black Friday. Not best friends. And best friends. And best friends. So yeah, the link is in the description or yeah, you can just use this code on screen. Go check their website out. They've got loads of great stuff. Thank you, Emma Sleep, for sponsoring this video. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Okay then, right, sleep time. I know what we could do. All right then. <laughs> Night guys! 
So next day, it's very wet today. I think I did the solar just in time. I've just come across to see how it's doing and it looks like my protective cover is all held nicely because it's only sicker flexed on but it's actually held on really good so well happy with that so today i'm going to complete the wiring for the solar it's not the best weather to test it like and i've got an incredibly sore throat it's the tail end of this coal so yeah i'm gonna gonna wire up the solar so it's uh i think it's storm babette Babette today it's hammering it down and it has been all morning and it has revealed that I think every window is leaking it's leaking it's leaking it's leaking so there's only one window that I've actually sealed which is that one and it is still dripping a little bit it's pretty annoying and the portholes as well But all the others I haven't sealed. Um, I think it's because I spent all my time painting and when it came to putting the windows back in at five o'clock every day, I just couldn't seal it. And because I've been taking them in and out and also the one window I did seal, which was this one, it took me almost an hour to seal it. So I just haven't made the time really. And now it's just hammering it down. So I'm gonna have to wait for a non-wet day to reseal it and hope that it works <laughs> pretty rubbish but it's okay once the burner's in it'll dry everything out and we'll get it sealed eventually in a way this weather's good because it's kind of showing all of the bits that i need to get right so let's think of it that way i've come back over to rasheen to make some lunch where emily's editing the video i'm not well <laughs> She seems to have caught what I had. Um, so I'm making us butternut squash and sweet potato soup. Just put the sweet potato in at the minute. Yay! It's so got lots of ginger in it and I made a loaf of bread last night. And uh, the lens is actually steaming up. So you're going to be seeing less and less. Right, I'm going to make the soup. Thanks, Bunny. Okay, here it is. The worth was weight it. The what? The weight was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks amazing. Thank you, Bunny. That's what we need, a nice gingery butternut squash soup. And homemade sourdough, actually. Oh, I think he showed you. Look at the bubbles in that. You don't need to worry, because I got some new chilli flakes the day before yesterday. Okay. To cause... help clear our sinuses. But there was loads of types. I don't know what they are, so I just got these ones called bird's eye chilli flakes. Um... You do realise that that's like, they're the, like the spiciest ones. Yeah. And Have you like... made this really hot? Oh man, I hope it's not inedible. Flip's sake. Let's give it a go. Oh my God, that's really spicy. Is it too, is it inedible? Yeah. I don't know if it's in, it's really spicy. Oh my. <laughs> well, that'll sort us out. Oh my god, my temperature's just gone up about five degrees just from that one bit. Oh my god, that's so spicy. Oh my me. Uh, so the last chilli flakes that we had were pretty old. We kind of like spice, but not super spicy. And we were putting loads of this stuff in it. It wasn't really doing much. So that's probably why Benny's gone and bought some new ones. It's going to do us good. A little Greek yoghurt help, will that go with this? Yeah, that would be really nice actually. Mm. Yeah, I've got some. It's bearable if you dip it. Maybe I'll have to just eat the whole loaf of bread. Well, I've only dipped it so far. I haven't even had it straight off the spoon yet, so... Oh, crikey. Are we going to just get through that whole yoghurt pot? <laughs> yeah, this is good actually. Clearing. Mm. I was Kips. reading about chilli as a decongestion and it's totally working. Maybe one less teaspoon of chilli. <laughs> so I've been making progress with the tongue and groove on the ceiling. This is how far I've got so far.
It's it's looking well, Karen. so nice, Bunny. Thank you. I really love it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's making it. It's really making it come together. I'm very pleased. I thought I'd just get out of the boat because I haven't really got out for the last couple of days because I've had this cold. So, anyway, I'm just popping to co op because we've run out of cat food. And Alan needs to have her lunch. It's a bit of a late lunch. Sorry, Alan. Oh, wow. That's flooded. Definitely wasn't like that before. So that's the uh, lock landing that we were on the other day when we were freaking out about the, uh, the flow of the river. Now it's on red boards. Crazy, huh? I'm gonna walk down here. Apparently you can't get very far, but I'm gonna have a look anyway. It's completely underwater. So yeah, this was the corner that we were struggling to get round the other day in the boats to get to the lock landing up there. Okay, it's about six o'clock. That's it for today. It won't take me too long to finish it off the next working day I get. I'm busy for a couple of days now, so that's it. But I'm glad that I got to get like a good sort of eight hours in. And it's a beautiful evening too. I'll show you. Wait a minute. I think that is Emily with, with our dinner. Oh Lord. You ordered something? <laughs> Happy times. It's really flooded. The is river it? is crazy. Is it? Yeah. It's so bad. He's hungry. <sighs> that Orawas Fryer is a very good fish and chip shop. Yeah. I've got to say. Oh. for a morning walk, both feeling a little bit ill still, but we've run out of water and Benny's going away, so I'm gonna go to the water point and just get a bottle of water, which will last me until tomorrow, so that's all good. But yeah, we thought we'd go and have a look at the river. Benny's not seen it. Should we leave this here then and oh, see you if- You can really see the flow of it as well. It. Oh yeah, yeah. Shall we? Are you sure no one's going to steal that? Yeah. Warren or it was. Okay. Oh yeah, it's come up even more.
Yay, no one stole it. 